Hello everyone. In this video, we will understand the implications of a trade war with the help of US-China trade war which started in 2018 with the imposition of tariffs by US on Chinese imports with the help of classical game theory example of prisoner's dilemma. In July 2018, US imposed 25% tariffs on $34 billion amount of goods imported from China. China also retaliated with similar tariffs. Further in August, China, US imposed 25% tariffs on $16 billion amount of goods imported from China. And again, China retaliated, and so trade was started between both the countries. Now think for a moment. If you have two options, either to go for protectionist policies, as US and China did, that is, impose tariffs on the products imported, or, or, should a, or should a country opt for free trade? What will you do? Let's see this. We know a GDP is composed of four components, consumption, investment, government spending, and net exports. Now, if imports rise, more profits are sent abroad, and there's a decline in GDP. So with this, we see that a country should adopt for trade protectionism. But now let's understand this with game theory. What will be the implications of free trade and tariff? So firstly, let's find out the Nash equilibrium of this game. If US thinks that China will go for free trade, then the best option for US is to impose for tariffs. But if, if it thinks that China will go for tariffs, then the US again should put tariffs. So we see the optimal choice for US is to impose tariffs. Now let's find out what is the optimal choice for China. If China thinks that US will go for free trade, then China should go for imposing tariffs. And if China thinks that US will go for tariffs, then again China should go for tariffs. So we see that the Nash equilibrium of the game is imposition of tariffs by both the countries that is US and China but now here's a catch we see that if both the countries adopt tariffs they are on a suboptimal equilibrium they could have earned much more if they opted for free trade they could have earned 100 instead of 70 in, in this case but if both the countries impose tariffs the result is dramatic decline in welfare and global GDP. This was exactly observed in the US-China trade war, where it had both direct effects like impact on supply chains, global GDP, purchasing managers index, which lowered quite a bit, and uh, indirect effects like consumer confidence and uh, the uncertainty among businesses about their investment and products around the world. Both the countries could have done better by coordinating. Well, in real life, this kind of coordination is encouraged by institutions like world trade organizations and bilateral multilateral agreements among countries. So we see the problem with tit for tat is not irrationality, but miscalculation. If both the countries expect the other country will back down, the result is dramatic decline in world trade, which leaves both the countries worse off. This is exactly what US and China faced. So that's all in this video. If you have any comments, thoughts, any suggestions, please put it in the comment box below. Thanks for watching.